Dennis Simpson for Hot Springs Village Inside Out. This week, we welcome back Mr. Joe Taravella from the world headquarters of Fat Possums Farms just outside of Mountain Pine, Arkansas. As you can see on this video, it's a beautiful area, but what you don't know is that this area is located very close to what was called the Civil War Road. And the Civil War Road had an interesting item on it. This beautiful two-story home. You say, well, it, Dennis, it doesn't look that great right now. This was a magnificent home used until 1986. Yeah, this home built in 1860 before the Civil War was used until 1986 with a couple and their five children. Now, you'll see the inside in just a moment. And Joe Taravella with Fat Possum Farms was showing us how the shed behind it, the lean-to building back here, was one of their uh, chicken coops, and I think they actually kept some animals there. But also over here on the side of the house where you can see the timber exposed now, when he bought the property, he couldn't see that timber because there was another built-on leaning beside it. Basically, there was another room beside it for more kids, I guess. Joe and I went by and started counting the rings on these logs. Now, just to put this in perspective for you, those logs, those trees were growing on that land or in that area before the Revolutionary War, before 1776, before we had a constitution. Joe and I had a minute to count the rings, and, and the wood was not cut. It was split. The side logs were split, which made for a fascinating area and, and a fascinating view of the whole thing. As you'll notice, the stonework in the front, that wasn't a sign of a cheap building. That was a very expensive building. If you could afford, number one, a two-story building, and number two, a stone house. Look closely if you can. We've slowed the video down just a minute so you can see some of the beautiful woodwork. It's a gem. Uh, Joe said he only wanted to tear the side off. You see him discussing the side that he had to pull down. Uh, because it was just dangerous. It simply uh, was not on the original house, and it wasn't safe at all. But as you can imagine, until 1986, yeah, there were seven people living in this home. And like I say, it was on the Civil War Trail. Joe's been trying to determine if it was part of a heritage uh, item that we need to discuss, or he doesn't know. It actually was just in the front of the roughly 50 acres that he bought, he and Dana bought, not too terribly long ago. Once again, these aerial shots will give you an idea. That is the uh, mountain pine area. There's Joe's uh, b white barn in the middle is his barn dominium. There's his pea patch, how he made his first million. And then a little walk back over just to take again. Imagine, walk back in time with yourself for a minute and just think, what would this have been like? What could this have been like a hundred years ago? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, remember, Joe and Dana own Fat Possum Farms, and they run that. They sell all types of produce, uh, green beans, okra, purple hull peas, uh, you name it. They've really got it. And remind you now, this is not, oh, maybe two miles as the crows flies from Lake Washita. 150, 100 years ago, number one, there was no lake here. Number two, there was no thing here. This was easy to turn into U.S. National Forest because there wasn't anybody here. The ground is very difficult to till. Some of the one that Joe has there is nearly delta-like, but over here on the, the National Forest side and around the lake, it's some pretty rough soil. Thanks for joining us again on Hot Springs Village Inside Out. This is a, obviously a much shorter show, but we wanted to welcome you back and remind you, visit our friends and partners the folks at Fat Possum Farms, this is Little Blakely, the trailhead, and the Blakely Mountain we were just looking at. But Joe has some great shows. You'll really enjoy them.